was nine when Dad left. I kind of didn't blame him. I just wish he'd taken me with him. He's very special, you know. Yes, I'm sure he is, love. One hot dog, two fish and chips. Jesus is alive here in my billy. Good for you, dear. You'll see. You will see. Come down. He has arisen. He has come again. World. He lived us within. With the birds he is and the music. He is we living. He lived us within. He is special. After one particularly humiliating Easter morning, I decided I'd had enough. All I wanted more than anything in the world was to be normal. Dull, forgettable and blissfully normal. Billy? So I moved cities and changed my name. I created a new life, a new me. I limited myself to five words a day. This included good morning and goodbye. Any more than five and I'd be into a full-blown conversation. And that would only encourage attention. Have you ever been to Sydney? On Fridays, I'd allow myself six words for the simple reason that I knew I'd be asked what I was doing that weekend. So, what do you have planned for the weekend? I'd always answer the same thing. Nothing special. I keep my head down and my eyes lowered. I'd experienced some back trouble from this, but I considered the pain worth it. When shopping, I'd avoid anything that might draw attention to me. Jazzy packaging was out. Bright, snappy colours? Definitely not. But my primary concern was avoiding items marked on special. There were a few setbacks here and there, but overall my new life was good. Dull, forgettable and blissfully normal. I knew people by their shoes, not their faces, and it calmed me to know exactly who was at work each day. Take us upstairs, will you, Smithy? Red heels? Um, Claire? No. Tanya? No! Hello. I'd made it my mission to be just another nobody, but for the first time in two years, I felt the need for something more. Unfortunately, I'd used up my daily word quota. The next day, I ignored the receptionist when she greeted me. Now I had one word spare in case I saw the girl again. No, it's nothing about cricket, it's just an expression of... Oh, I've got to go. Bye. All right, Smithy? Anything? Anything what? Above your head? Anything in the light? In the, upstairs? Oh, you want to take something upstairs? Oh, yes, no, very good. Um, you can take that. Here we are. Good on you, Smithy. Nice to see some initiative. I walked the stairs for two days hoping to catch another glimpse of her, but to no avail. Probably for the best. The whole thing would have just drawn too much attention to me anyway. Good afternoon, staff. As you know, the first of the month is a day of commendation here at Whistle and Wise. And this month, for his outstanding um, timekeeping and his uh, excellent initiative, our employee of the month is Clive Smith. 
Well done, mm -hmm. Clive. So if you could all make your way to the staff room for a wee celebratory drink. Mm -hmm. And of course, Clive, your photo to be taken. <gasps> Thank you. What are you doing in there? Giving birth? <laughs> I say giving birth. Yeah. <laughs> here we are, here we are. Richard McLeod! Two full years of hard work ruined. Take a photo, take a photo! Nice one, Clive. This was bad. This was very bad. Today is a happy, happy day. He lived within this office. My son, your saviour, Billy. Dum dum shivai, dum lum billy. I am Heather. Twenty years ago, I was chosen to birth a miracle. My son is Jesus reincarnated. And yes, he is here amongst you all. To me, he is known as Billy. To you, Clive Smith. <gasps> Kidding. And there he is. Billy! As the Lord giveth, he taketh away. It was then that I saw the light. It was time to stop running and start living. Dig my heels into the horse of life and yell, Giddy up! <laughs> this is nice. So, Brian's a nice boss. He is. He is. You know, all the other guys I know are such assholes. <laughs> but not you. You're so special. Yeah.